So here we're asked to find the volume of an equilateral triangular pyramid. Uh, so pyramids are a little bit different in volume. It's one-third the area of the base times the height. Okay, so that means if we have an equilateral triangular pyramid that this bottom part is equilateral. Okay, it doesn't mean that all the faces are all the same, but the bottom here, this triangle, is an equilateral triangle. And that's going to help us with the area of the base. So there are a couple of ways that we can do that. My favorite way is by using the trig formula, which is one half, okay, the product of two sides, times the angle in between them. So because it's equilateral, I know I have a 60 degree angle. So I use the sine of 60 in order to compute the area of my base. So 0 0.5 times 8 times 8 times the sine of 60, make sure you're in degree mode, gives me a base area of 27.7128. Okay, so that's coming over here. I still have my one-third. My base area is 27.7128, and the height of this thing is 7. Okay, the height of a prism goes from the center to the tallest point. In this case, the height is 7. Do that in pink. Okay, so putting all this into my calculator, um, dividing this number by 3 and timesing it by 7 gives me a volume of 64.663 cubic feet. So you find the area of the base, no matter what shape the base is, you times it by the height from the center to the top, and then you divide that volume by 3.